Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with another video for Hero Arts. Today I'll be sharing how to create a holiday card using conventional watercoloring techniques as well as a watercolor stamped background. So let's get started. First I stamp the adorable Christmas mouse and his ornament onto watercolor paper using Versafine. Watercolor paper is textured, so I stamp it a few times using my Misti until I get a solid impression. Then I heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. Next, I tape the watercolor panel to a hardboard and cover the ornament with Molotow masking fluid. Once the fluid is dry, it will protect the paper from the paint and can be easily rubbed off once you're done. To create my background, I ink the solid branch from color layering trimmings with a bundled sage distressing spritz it with water, and then press it to my watercolor paper. I hold it for a few seconds to allow the ink to soak into the paper. When I lift the stamp, I am left with an impressionistic stamping of the branch. I repeat the process a few more times using bundled sage and peeled paint distress inks. Then I stamp the detailed branch the same way using forest moss distress ink. You'll see pine needles distress ink in the video, but I changed my mind at the last minute and went for a true green rather than the blue green of the pine needles. The amount of water mist changed on each stamp, so none of them look exactly the same, giving it even more of that impressionistic watercolor look. My intention was for it to look like the mouse is helping to decorate the tree, but that the tree is in the background of my design, while the more detailed mouse and ornament is in the foreground. Once the stamping is done, I use a post-it note to mask off the mouse. Then I splatter the panel with watered down peeled paint, bundled sage, and forest moss distressing. Once that's dry, I also add a few splatters of pewter glimmer metallic ink. I remove the post-it and let the panel dry completely. Next I place a piece of white cardstock in the plastic packaging of one of my infinity die sets to create an easy reusable paint palette. To watercolor the mouse and ornament, I'm using the Daniel Smith watercolors that are available on the HeroArts dot card. One dot card would be enough to color tons of these images. I just like the colors so much that I purchased the corresponding tubes. I'm using Quinacridon Pink, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, and Moon Glow for these images as well as a drop of pewter and red glimmer metallic ink. First I paint the mouse using Moon Glow. I add darker shades to the areas that should be shaded on his body and then use a damp clean paintbrush to blend the lighter areas. If I get a little too dark, I just take a dry paper towel and blot the areas before they dry to lift some of the paint. Once 
Once my mouse is done, I rub the dried masking fluid off of the ornament and paint the ornament with permanent alizarin crimson paint. I wet the entire image and then add a less dilute concentration to the bottom left of the ornament. I use a damp paintbrush to blend the darker shade towards the top of the ornament and blot off a little to keep it lighter at the top. Then I mix a little red glimmer ink into the red watercolor and add it to the bottom of the ornament. I blend it towards the top with a damp paintbrush and blot off as needed. Then I use quinacridone pink to paint the mouse's ears and cheeks and use pewter glimmer metallic ink to paint the top of the ornament. Add a little bit of a shadow using diluted moon glow to ground the images. I let that dry completely before trimming the panel down to four and a quarter by five and a half. While the panel is drying, I stamp the sentiment from Magic and Wonder of Christmas onto black cardstock with Versamark and heat emboss it with white embossing powder before trimming it down to a fishtail flag. I adhere the watercolor panel to a card base and then use foam mounting tape to add the sentiment. To finish the card, I add a layer of Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle to the ornament and then top it with a layer of Nuvo Crystal Glaze and a sprinkling of Snowfall Glitter. I love the impressionistic suggestion of a Christmas tree with that bold little mouse in front and I hope you do too. You can find more information on the products I used today at the Hero Arts blog, and there's a link in the YouTube description below. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting! Bye!